I found out by putting this all together that some people get ulcers and others have mental breakdowns, but I get cancer. My mother first got cancer. Um, she went to the Mayo Clinic. They performed her laryngectomy. Dr. Sun is an ear, nose and throat specialist and chairman of his department at the Arkansas Cancer Research Center. He took a special interest in Doris Phillips' case. The first thing he told us was that her type of cancer was incurable. She underwent surgery and because of such extensive involvement we had to split her chest and open the chest area and remove it around the great vessels coming off the heart, remove it all throughout the neck and uh, we felt like we got all the tumor out of there but with that much cancer the odds of recurrence were extremely high or metastatic disease. What Doris Phillips set out to do was imagine the process of her good cells gobbling up her bad cells. The Pac-Man game was a model for how she visualized her immune cells eating up her cancer. Ah. Uh, oh, well, now yeah. down, now down. Push over then up. The other way, the other way. She did this for about six months and it was time for us to go back and see Dr. Sun again. He came in and he said, well, you're not any worse. She figured that she wasn't working hard enough on her imagery, went back home and said she started using more time. Well, I'm not ready to die. She started disappearing into her bedroom four and five times a day to do the mental imagery. We don't have to accept anything. Dr. Sun had told us to come back in three months. He wanted to check her again. So three months later, we went back. And the day she came in, I compared her present x-ray with the past x-rays. And what I saw was that the cancer had disappeared. And I was flabbergasted because I'd never seen that. And I'd been treating cancer for many years. Understanding how people turn pain into wisdom is not something that we can quantify. We can only learn this by listening deeply to the stories of individual people and finding the right questions to ask them, which will enable them to identify what they let go of and what they took hold of in order to move in the direction of integrity. This is the sort of research which is not easily funded. It is not hard research. But then again, things that are expressed in numbers are often not as important as things that can be expressed in words. And sometimes the most important things in life can never be expressed at all, but only experienced. 